Uh, this presentation is just a case study, which means that main aim of this presentation is not to present you, to give you result of this research. One research was done, results are on a table. But who cares about that? Something what is more important is something else, something behind that. What we and how we can use this research? Can we use that at all? And this is general question. I'm sorry for talking a little, elaborating the, more than usually about introduction of research, but I can see a lot of young people. I think can be very useful. If you do some research and you're happy with results, that is just very first step. That result has to be a moving point for other people. If it is not a moving point, if people do not start thinking about that when you finish your presentation, that is nothing. Uh, main, main theme of this conference is typography in publication design. Okay, when we are talking about publication design, and you make some design of something, and you print that in 50,000 copies, will you be happy? Probably yes. If you make that year design in one million copy, will you be happy? I think you will be happy up to the heaven. But what to do with the design which is going in 500 million copies? That is what we are trying to analyze today and to talk about. Banknotes. Banknotes is not only a piece of paper which allowed us to do something, to buy something, to make us to feel rich and full. Banknotes is a piece of design. Unfortunately, majority of us forget that. Just as a case study, I analyze our banknotes from Botswana, and by the way about that, yesterday in a town I had one very interesting situation. Uh, I met one gentleman and he asked me from where I am, I said from Botswana, and he said, what is that Botswana? I tried to explain that is a place, and he said, I never heard it. I said, indeed that is a country, state. He said, something like Russia or Sudan or Brazil, I, I said, yes, yes, that is that. And he said, no, that is something like that do not exist. <laughs> uh, however, it exists, and it has its own banknotes. And uh, I'm just trying to make comparison of two sets of banknotes, and lucky for me, Botswana had only two sets. First one was introduced in 1976, uh, slightly after independence. Even that word is not correct because Botswana never was a colony. That is one of three countries in Africa which never was a colony, never depend to anyone. Uh, what is important of this analyze? To accept that it is graphic design. Way of comparison is like a graphic design product. And part of that is typography, including everything else, what it means. This is not Botswana money. <laughs> Official valuables usually means uh, something which represents value and which is issued by government. Or an agency which depends to government. It can be paper banknotes, coins, post stamps, revenue stamps, government bonds, government checks, and many other things. Uh, now, just for simplicity of research, I will concentrate only on banknotes. History of money, first coins was made by metal, and it was in Lydia, today Turkey, one third of starter made of Electrum, that is natural mixture of gold and silver, which could be found in that area. And people need a lot of time 
about 2,400 years to understand that carrying metal money is not so convenient, especially if you are rich or you are mercant or you try to sell and buy something big. And first people who start thinking how to do that are Chinese during Tang Dynasty, sometime about 7th century AD. They started uh, issuing paper uh, Confirmation, they call that. That is very rudiment note. That is, uh, if, if you are going to do something with a big uh, bunch of money, you just could find some uh, big mercant and leave all of that with him, and he will issue confirmation letter that he have so and so value of your money. And with that confirmation letter, you can do something. Uh, real money came about 300 years later, and in other parts of the world, we wait almost 1,000 years for that. This is what I will try to do, first set 1976 and second set, set 2009. As you can see, on first look, it's look quite similar, but let's see if it is like that. First set, first issue was what we can see on the left-hand side. Botswana on the beginning was very poor money, very poor, poor country, and money was in very small denomination, one, two, five, ten. Later came 20. When the first president died, only what was changed was a portrait on banknotes. That portrait value, and we have several different in details, but main design was still there. That first set had very few problems. One on, was on light and color on 100 pull a note. You can see that uh, it is possible to find very dark and very light, and the same happened a few years later with new 10 pull a notes. If you compare these two pictures on the bottom, you can see that left one is slightly lighter and even tone of green is different. Uh, it was different numbering, difference in uh, numbering, but main thing is that because of security reason, banknotes are uh, printed in several colors and sometimes that colors is going in continuity, and that uh, division between colors was not completely the same in some bunches. All of that came because from 1976 until 2009, for 32 years, Botswana printed a lot of money, a lot of paper, because paper money have very limited life spin, and after some time it had to be replaced. They started with Thomas de la Rue, continued with change to Harrison and Son, again come back to de la Rue, François Charles Lobetour in France and in South Africa, South African State Banknotes Company. This is just introduction. Second set came 2009 with all that gadgets what we have. With all that computers, computer programs, photoshops, enjoyment, and we expect miracle of new design. Miracle came, but not as we expected. A printer was De La Rue. And we are coming now on our first point of case study. In the whole world, we have two kinds of printing banknotes. Some countries are lucky, like India, who design and print their own banknotes, and they are the master and commander of design of, on their banknotes. 92% of countries and we have uh, about 176 countries and 
more than 40 territories which are issuing money, plus on that. 92% of them depend on Frankfurt or in Sao Paulo or in London and do not know nothing about country for which they have to design, do not know nothing about understanding of color of that people and that culture, and do not know nothing of symbolism and way of thinking in that country. And they do their job, depend to some brief which they receive somehow, somewhere. Very often, some countries complain and we are trying to make a bigger influence on our own design, how it can be. In new set, we have very large empty space. We have new types of letter and new types of numbers. All of that is done in London by Delarue, who was designing and printing first set on beginning, and they forgot what they can do because all the masters died and new guys just sitting on computer and trying to take a fun. If we compare first verse to second set, we can see that the reverse side, back side, is quite similar, not the same. On the reverse side, last photo on the bottom, right one, you can see big empty space which is not covered and which not have any function in design. It is just mist. Uh, if we are looking face, it is again space, uh, which is uh, ordered to be for watermark. It's three times bigger, and that is killing our design at all. Numbers, instead of being more clear, more pure, are confusing. That is very the same with 100 polar notes and with all others. Uh, some problems which are coming is that paper is much worse. Lifespan instead of six months to two years, it's between one to three months. And after that, notes have to be replaced. We have big problem about light. You can see on the right side that is from the very the same bunch, and also con uh, consistency of color distribution and changing of color is completely different. If you look at dark gray between legs of zebra, on bottom it's gray, and on top it's a violet. Completely inappropriate. Uh, continuity of cutting is very good. They design on a way that any bank notes is continuity, physically continuity on previous ones. So however they cut, they will not make mistake and they help them to reduce problem pieces. Now, composition aspect. If we compare first and second set, I would like kindly to ask you to pay attention to portrait. Old set, which is on the left-hand side, you can see that portrait is coming as a part of a design and slowly disappear within the background. It is part of design. On the right side is second set, and it is not a problem with different color, but the problem is that it is very visible that it's done with pick and drop by Photoshop, and it look like physically by mistake put on that space. As a graphic design, that is not the best way to do. With 100 puller notes, situation is much more worse. If you look at the gentleman who is sitting far left, and his hand is just next to number 100, his right leg is not so visible, but it is there. On your set, please just pay attention. It looks like that somebody cut his leg, and he is 
just some kind of non, uh, disabled person here, for some reason, put that. And again, uh, pay attention to bottom line of portraits. Uh, you can see very visibly that it is cut, just cut, without any coincidence of design, without any logic, without any story behind that. If we com compare colors, color aspects, on the 20 and 50 polar, colors are very mixed. So on 20, 50 polar, it's uh, some brownish. But the worst thing become on 220 polar, where dark violet is coming, and people cannot really see that, really cannot see difference so clearly. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I already tried to cut that because originally this is more than 200 pages and I already cut, but I'm cutting. Uh, typography regarding numbers. On your left hand side is new typography. And you can just, if you compare with new Israeli Shaquille, somebody just photocopied that pick and drop and said, I am artist, I know how to pick and drop copy. And that is second and maybe the most important question regarding this case study. Uh, involvement of technology and its limitation. Does technology killing design? Not at all because technology is just a tool. We do not can make design by technology. Design is in our head and in our hand. And computer is here just to help us. At the moment when we start thinking that computer can make design, we are losing design. And we are not designers anymore. It's not a question of aesthetics. It's not a question of art. It's a question of pure design. An example to make banknote more interesting, new designers put uh, italic small letters instead of very clear font. And they forget that banknotes cannot be used only by designers. Banknotes have to be used by everyone. By illiterate old ladies somewhere deep in a village, they have to recognize what is that. It is not a piece of art, so we can play with that, even very badly played in this case. And uh, it has to be very clearly used for some purpose. Study provide that the first set is not only technically better done, but also has better design. And this clearly shows that even today, when we have much better technique and equipment, 30, in the 32 years old design prevail. And that shows another truth that good design is not in a head, is in a head and hand of designer, not in equipment. And about that, because I can see so many young people, I want to put another third issue of this case study. That is evaluation and self-evaluation. Uh, very often I have students who came very excited with some of their design. And they said, I did a great job. And I asked, what means great job? And he or she said, I know it's a great job. My girlfriend told me that it's a great job, and my auntie told me that it's a great job. And I said, did you evaluate? Did you analyze it? And usually they are looking through me what it means. These guys from De La Rue, from England, are very proud of this set of notes, which we believe that is far from a fairly done job. Every time when you are doing something, you have to evaluate objectively what you are doing. Because application of design and design final product is something what you will present somewhere, somehow. Don't put yourself in a situation that somebody evaluates your job 
and tell you very bad critique. Thank you very much.